Are you filled with uncertainty about how in the world you're gonna sell your house during the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, stay tuned while I share some tips that will help prepare you and help maximize the money that you deserve to make on the sale of your home. What's happening everybody? Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas. The uncertainty continues, the, the madness continues with what's going on with coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, and I would say the biggest thing that we're noticing is just uncertainty on the buyer side, on the seller side, and just people living their everyday lives. When's the economy gonna open back up? Uh, when is it gonna be safe to send kids back to daycare? When are schools gonna open? There's so much uncertainty, so many questions. But one of the things we need to remember is that people are still moving. People are still having to buy houses. People are still selling their houses. So I'm gonna share a few tips today that if you are looking to sell your home, will hopefully help guide you and prepare you, set your expectations and make this experience an enjoyable one, the enjoyable experience that it should be when selling your home. So let's jump right into it. Tip number one, do what makes you comfortable. Here's what I mean by that. If your home is sitting and it's vacant, let's say you've already moved out, you, you're selling a house that maybe you live in another state, there's a lot less risk, a lot less worry about people walking through your house because no one's there to potentially get infected, the virus. If you're living in your house and say you have kids living at your house, you might be a lot more hesitant to let buyers walking through your house just free reign. Um, so, when I say do what makes you feel comfortable, if you feel like you strongly do not want people going through your home, then for the time being, you can prohibit showings. Now, I know that sounds a little crazy, having your house on the market without allowing showings, but you can say, we are only allowing people to go through our house after submitting an offer or after having an offer accepted. Now in Texas, we have the option period, which gives the buyer the right to back out for any reason. And in that time, that's when they can go into the house, they can make their final decision and it might cost them 150 bucks or 200, or maybe you as a seller lower that option fee so that the buyers can go through, see the house and really get a fair uh, opportunity to see the house in person. One thing you wanna realize is that if you are not allowing showings, then that might in turn have an impact on how quickly you get an offer or how much someone is willing to offer on your home. So just keep that in mind. Something else you can do is be strategic with your showings. And what I mean by that is maybe do a bulk showing day. So pick two days a week where you take a four hour time period or a three hour time period. And those are the times where people can come through your house. So it's similar to an open house, but you are leaving. The buyer's agent still have to set up appointments and they're coming with their buyers for them to go through the house. That way it's less cleaning for you. You can wait till that four hour window's over and then you can come into the house if you wanna have it professionally cleaned or if you wanna clean it yourself, disinfect surfaces, do all of that, then that's an option as well. But that's better than having to get up and leave your house every time a buyer wants to walk through your home and then feel like you have to disinfect and clean everything after each showing. And the last thing I'll add with do what makes you feel comfortable, do not hesitate to ask people to wear gloves and wear masks. It's becoming very common. Pretty much every house that I've seen with showing instructions is saying wear gloves and masks. So ask people to wear protective um, equipment so that they have a much smaller likelihood of spreading everything, whether they're coughing, breathing, sneezing, any of that. And there are lots of disclosures that we are required as agents now to have our clients, both buyers and sellers, to sign just to minimize the risk of any liability if something were to happen and an infection were to take place with someone viewing your home. Tip number two, maximize the power of video. Video is in right now. It's been in for a few years and it's likely that during this time, not only has gotten professional photos, but has also gotten some sort of 360 degree virtual tour. So this is called a Matterport tour and it let, allows the buyer to click through your home, click on a room and see a 360 degree view, which is really helpful when trying to figure out kind of spacing and all that. What it doesn't do is give the full effect. 
and there's no commentary to maybe point out some of the most important features. So what I would highly consider, if your agent did not already order um, a walkthrough video, I would take one yourself. Have a video ready when the house is in the perfect showing condition, when it's clean, when it's staged, looking beautiful. Take a walkthrough video that's a few minutes long that adds and add some commentary in it. So talk about some of your favorite features of the home. When you're walking through the kitchen, point out that there's stainless steel appliances, point out that you have quartz countertops, that you recently redid all of the cabinets. Let people know that. Um, you don't have to go too overboard, just give the facts, point out um, the, the unique features of the home, the selling points of the home, and have that ready to share with any buyer that's interested in your home because, again, by seeing the virtual tour, by seeing the photos online, they might still want a little more. If you give them that video, that might th make them feel comfortable enough to put in an offer without actually going into your house. The last tip, the third tip I'm gonna give is to be flexible. Now, I also made a video about buying a home during this time and be flexible was one of the tips there. This is so important because again, your home might take longer to sell. If the average days on market over the last six months was 15 days in your neighborhood, well, guess what? Now it might be closer to 25, 30, even longer than that because not as many buyers are out and people might not be as willing to pull the trigger without seeing a home in person the way we normally see homes. So be flexible. That's with your agent, that's with timelines, that's with buyers, and that's ultimately, this is the most important, with your expectation of the deal closing and closing on time. The buyer that you accepted an offer on that was a strong buyer, was well qualified, you spoke to the lender, everything looked good, it's possible that they're gonna lose their job and you're 10 days away from closing, you're five days away from closing, they get noticed that they just lost their job. Well, guess what? There's a good chance that they're not qualifying for that house anymore and they might have to back out. So maybe hold off on major plans. And I know this is scary because when you're selling your home, there's so many things going on. You're probably moving somewhere else. Um, you've got movers lined up, all of this, and you might have to change your plans at the last minute. Go into this with an open mind um, you know, be flexible, stay positive. I would say that is extremely important to stay positive and just understand that things will happen. Things out of the ordinary will take place because we're in a very uncertain time. But ultimately, the goal of us as agents is to make this process smooth. And when we hit those roadblocks, we problem solve, we figure out a way to get past them and continue to get your home sold. So that is all I've got for you today. Hopefully you found these tips helpful. If you are looking to sell your home right now, yes, it's uncertain time, but it's still possible. There are still buyers. And especially if you're in a market like Austin, Texas, inventory is still extremely low. So if you like this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button down low, and I will catch you on the next one.